What's up, us? It's your boy JTI Automations back in with another video. Hey, you guys, you have sent me a tremendous amount of reactions to do. So in this video, we getting straight to it. Now, uh, first and foremost, I want to let you guys know that the purpose of all of these reactions for any new people that may have missed uh, me explaining this is uh, to let you guys know that there are a multitude of highly successful entrepreneurs that sincerely want you to win and they give great value on social media what i need you to do is be sure to subscribe to everybody that i react to go to their comment section let them know that jt sent you right um and, and it's all about just spreading the love increasing your network so that you can better your financial situation now we're gonna kick this off with a lady that goes by the name of ellie talks money on youtube and she's gonna give us the game on five small businesses that you could start with under $500 because I do know a lot of you all may be interested in becoming an entrepreneur, but you're saying that you don't have a ton of money to start. So we gonna get some game from her and let's get straight into it. Hold on, wait. I know you're enjoying this video and we're gonna get right back to this game in just one second, but are you tired of watching YouTube videos, whether you're a new entrepreneur, an aspiring entrepreneur, or an entrepreneur that's been in it for a while, but you still are kind of worried about what's the right way to do business so that you can guarantee that you're gonna make six and seven figures every single year? Well, guess what? You guys already know who I am. I'm a serial entrepreneur and content creator that makes a plethora of content to motivate, educate, and inspire you to do something entrepreneurial, but I put together a conference that's designed for those of you out there that want to know exactly what should you do, what's the proper foundation so that you can build wealth, no matter if it's with business, if it's with stock investing, or if it's with real estate investing. If you want to stop guessing, stop figuring it out on your own, stop watching YouTube videos, and piecing it together and hope that you have the right answer and want to transform yourself to a man or woman that knows 100% what you're doing will lead up to six and seven figures every year. I need to see you at my Foundation of Wealth Conference. If you want to take advantage of it, link is down in the description below. Now let's get back to this game. Hey y'all, it's Ellie, aka Ellie Talks Money. Welcome back to my channel. And as usual, it is another day over here on the Money Team. We are talking about all the different ways that you can get to the bag, get business credits, scale your business, and just create multiple income streams. So, That's dope. in today's video, I will be showing you all five businesses that you can start with less then, not a thousand dollars, not eight hundred dollars, less than five hundred dollars. So, drop a money bag in the chat below. Let's go. And also comment how much money you want to make in 2022. All right. I want you all to comment how much money you want to make the year that you're watching this video. Let's make it real. All right. Also, uh, before somebody even asks the question, if you don't have $500 to invest in a business, then you just shouldn't start a business right now. It's not a knock to you, but there's definitely some issues that you have to conquer before you start a business. And you trying to start a business with less than that is going to just create way more problems for you. Because now you got to deal with whatever problems you have in your life that prevented you from having $500 plus a whole new set of problems in business, right? So, um, not trying to diss anybody, but let's just keep it real. I'm here for practical entrepreneurship. Because I believe in speaking articles into existence, so I want you to comment that number. I am claiming it for you. I believe it's going to happen. And let's dive right into this video so you can start these businesses with less than $500 ASAP. See you inside. All right, y'all, welcome back into the video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And listen, all of these are going to blow your mind and all of these are something you all can do now. You do not need special experience. You do not need more than $500. You may not even need the full $500 to do this. So I'm so excited to present this to you because whether you're still at a job, maybe you have a nine to five, or if you just started your current business and you need a way to sell or you're looking for a business to start, this video is going to be perfect for you. So the first business that you can absolutely start with less than 
dollars is a notary public. You can become a notary ASAP. It takes about two weeks to pass all of the classes. You schedule your exam, and then once you pass, you officially become certified as a notary in your state, which allows you to sign things like mortgage documents. Sometimes people need letters and special documents. Shout out my brother Andre Hatchett. You guys know that uh, he's been on this channel multiple times. We'll be on this channel again, Lord willing. And he makes six figures a year with a notary company and also teaches people how to do the same. Uh, for your convenience, if I do have additional resources for you all that want to move forward with any one of the five, it'll be linked down in the description below. So if you're interested in knowing more in depth how you can kick these businesses off and make the money, if I have resources for you, they're already down in the description below, but let's keep it going. Documents, again, notarized. The bank often needs notaries. Dentists, doctor's office, medical insurance companies, small business, so many things uh. need to be notarized. And we often don't think about the fact that not only can you go to a place like UPS to notarize something, but you yourself can become a public notary and then travel to your clients. And that's really what you're going to do to set yourself up apart from any other notary or any other notary service in your city is that you can travel to your client. So if someone's at home and needs something done ASAP, this gives you an opportunity to, number one, provide them with the service, charge a travel fee, and potentially even charge a rush fee because of the fact that you're going to them now, you're getting it done quickly, and helping them to resolve whatever it is that they need. So this can actually be a super lucrative business. Believe it or not, before I started my consulting business, I passed my notary public exam and I started to market myself. I started to make connections. I never dived deep into it because I ended up focusing more on my coaching and consulting, but it was definitely a great way to make a little bit of extra money, especially being that, you know, I'm a single mom and I needed a way to start bringing in some income. So what I'm going to make sure I link down below programs and the program that I enrolled with to actually get my notary certification. You guys, the classes are super simple. It literally took me less than two weeks. The exam is great. And boom, once you have your certification, you are able to start marketing yourself online, print some business cards, get some flyers. That's really where the majority of your $500 is going to go because the class I took was $30 to actually take the exam for your state can be anywhere between 75 to 150 dollars and then the rest of that money you can really put towards marketing so getting a website getting some business cards made maybe getting some nice headshots taken and you're ready to launch so i absolutely love that as a great business option again you are able to make anywhere from five thousand to ten thousand or more per month i know several notaries who specifically do travel notary uh servicing for home loans when people need to close on a property they are making a lot of money because at that point you're getting paid directly from oftentimes the title company or the realtor and etc so they're ready to get these deals closed and they're willing to pay more so definitely want that to be one you all consider all right so let's get into the next business that you can start with less than five hundred dollars and let me tell you exactly who you can target with this business to so this would be launching a transcription service all right there are so many youtubers so many instagram businesses like my own so many bloggers video vloggers who need people to transcribe their videos and then turn those into actual blog posts turn those into ebooks in some cases or rather just have the transcription so that they are able to create content later that's a fact right so um everything she said i agree with just to go a little bit deeper also uh if you can take your transcription and there's ai and different tools that'll do this for you and also not just transcribe a video in the text you also can transcribe it into different languages because believe 
it or not, the majority of the world does not speak the language that I'm speaking now and the language that you understand now. Uh, yet that may be the only language you and I know. All right, didn't do that well in Spanish in school, to be honest. However, if you want to reach a larger audience, um, you only being able to communicate with a small group of people, even though people that don't speak your language can add value to you, you can add value to them, but there's a communication barrier there, right? Having people transcribe is a value asset to me. You guys know that I'm in grind mode, we in team building mode. So one of the jobs of my personal assistant that I'm interviewing, uh, looking to find one, is that they have to be able to transcribe things, right? So they can transcribe videos for LinkedIn posts, for blog posts, for eBooks, uh, just in different languages to reach different demographics of people out there that can that I know I can help, but they can't understand me and I can't understand them. So transcribing business. 100%. You could do it as a freelancer. You could do it as a personal assistant. You could do it however you want to do it. All right. This is a business that costs much less than $500 to start because you don't need any type of certification. You simply need a little bit of time, patience, and some good computer keyboard skills so you can type this transcription pretty quickly. And here's a hack, okay? You are actually able to transcribe these things much faster than doing it manually by utilizing Google transcription. So when you're in a Google Doc, what you can do is if someone, a client, sends you over a recording and you are able to download that to your phone or whatever device, play it on loud, sit it next to your computer wherever you have your Google Drive open, Google will start to hear that audio and begin to transcribe for you. So then your main job at that point is just to go in and make sure the words are correct, get your edits, you know, do your punctuations, but that's how you can really skip ahead all right, that's a nugget. Let me add two more to it to make sure that you understand the value of this. You can also use Descript. You can also use Otter as well. Let's keep it going. Get the transcription done by a service like Google, which is free, and then your job is just to go in and do the edits. Now, the marketing on this is amazing because you guys are able to go directly after YouTubers, directly after Instagram coaches or Instagram business owners, and offer them this service and really show them how taking their video content and transcribing it to make it available on the internet or in ebook format can be a big boost to their revenue, they're going to want to do it, trust me. And I know because I'm one of them, okay? They're going to want to do it. So this has the ability to become, you know, start a transcription business, but really become a full service where you can also upload the transcriptions to their blog for them. You can also take the transcriptions and turn them into an ebook for them, right? And now you're able to charge for a full package and service offering rather than just the transcription. So I absolutely love this. I think if I, even if I had the time, this is something I would add into my business model. It is definitely a great way to make an extra four to five figures per month mm -hmm. and even beyond because again, with the creation of those packages, there's a lot of potential. There. All right. So I love that. Now let's get into the third business, which is actually print on demand. So I've talked to you all a little bit about this in some other videos, but I want to give you um, another idea around this and that you can literally start selling t-shirts today, right now for $35. That is the cost of your free trial on Shopify, which is free. You just put in your card and then hiring someone on Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com to create a design for you. You guys know that, man. Shoot, I done made so much money off Fiverr. Shoot, Fiverr is definitely a play. Um, you can also do it with Printful. You can also do it with Teespring. Um, and there's other print-on-demand services out there like Redbubble as well. Now, Shopify is dope. Uh, I'm sure most of you all have heard of Shopify, uh, but I uh, do want to let you know that there are other ones out there. So that's why I wanted to add my little two cents to it. But let's keep it going. So let's see if you 
you absolutely love mac and cheese or you love strawberries or you feel really passionate about a certain topic or a certain cultural issue, you can go ahead and create a logo or t-shirt design that represents what you're passionate about. And here's the thing about creating niche t-shirts. There's someone else out there who loves it just as much as you do. There's someone else out there who's going to be moved by your quote around this cultural or social issue, whatever it is that you care about, just as much as you are. So you are able to upload this design to platforms like Printful or Teespring. These are the two that I recommend. Teespring is great minds thing to like really great because not only are you able to upload your design onto their platform and start selling immediately, but they also promote your shirts within their own online store. So you have the opportunity to have your own link to your website that you can send out to friends, family, and new customers. And as well, you have the opportunity to be discovered within Teespring sites and have your shirts be able to sell that way as well. So this is an amazing side business to start. You can do this even while you have a job. Some of your colleagues can be your first customers, especially if it's something that you know they can relate to. And again, much less than $500, literally anywhere between $30 and $50, you can make this happen today. So let's get to work. All right, so let's get into four and five, which are amazing. And four is my particular favorite because it is launching your own consulting business, which is exactly what I did. You all know that I started my business with my stimulus check. I had very little resources at the time, but I had a lot of experience working in corporate America, and I wasn't getting hired for jobs, so I said, okay, how can I take what I know how to do, what a job would normally pay me for, and instead offer that service to other people on the marketplace, other new business owners, other people at their job, and consult for them. So All right, starting a consulting business, uh, and I'm gonna let her elaborate on it more. You could easily, day one, be making $50 an hour. And then of course it can go up to, man, it's crazy. All right, there's people out there now that charge $40,000 an hour to consult people. And there's people that charge more than that as well. So the range is really unlimited. Your only limitation is your imagination, depending on what kind of value you wanna deliver via your consultation. But as a newbie starting out, and the reason why I give you those big numbers is so that way, when you hear $50 an hour, some people immediately say, wow, that's way too much, I can't charge that much. But when you know that there are people charging $40,000 an hour, you charging $50 an hour seems like nothing. I right? understand that in the consulting world, it's a crazy range. Now, can you be cheaper than that? Absolutely, it's your business at the end of the day, but there are people that are paying a crazy amount of money. And another nugget as well, many of you guys know that I have a consulting service, and I also teach people the consulting business as well, or how to start their own consulting business. And part of that is also partnering with other people. Let's say that JT didn't know jack squat about anything. I didn't know about real estate, media, art investing, all of the stuff that you guys know, and that's another video for another time that I do, but I wanted to do a consulting business. Well, could I leverage my relationships with people that do know stuff? I know people that know about real estate. I know people that know about stock investing. I know people that know about hundreds, at least hundreds of different businesses and how to start them, scale them, and automate them, all right? So could I create the consulting service, do the marketing, or even if I didn't know how to do the marketing, pay a company to do the marketing, and then let the other people do the fulfillment on the back end. So let's say that you're somebody out there that was really great at business consulting, and all I wanted to do was set up the company and market for you because 
because you don't have the time to set it up and market and deal with people and get rid of the tire kickers that aren't going to pay your price or, I, or aren't going to really take action. If I'm willing to do all of that, because I can do that without knowing how to do the stuff, right? And then we work out a split of the money, all right? And in my business, I do that and I make mo and I make more money, excuse me, and I make more money than most people that go work a nine to five job just by being the middleman for their consulting agency. So yes, I got my own consulting service, but for people that are too busy to set it up and manage their own, they allow me to do it and I make great money every single year just by helping other people have consulting services. And you can do the same. That's the point that I'm making here. Let's keep it going. That's exactly what you can do. Let's say you've been working as a technician or a coding specialist or in customer Dope. service for a while and now you're ready to own your time and stop working for someone else, you can provide those same services directly to a customer through platforms like Upwork, through platforms like Fiverr that I mentioned, and also creating your own brand online on LinkedIn. In my opinion, creating your own brand, which is the way that I teach and the way that I recommend, it'll make you the most money and it's the most sustainable long term. Um, not a knock the fiber and upward, great platforms, but I do think that it's harder to build a, a business or a brand that will last the, the that will last long term, if you will. Uh, so it's very inexpensive to do. We're talking like 20 bucks a month to have your own brand out there uh, is the associated cost versus jumping on Fiverr for free and letting them, uh, you know, just take a cut of the money. So um, if you don't believe that much in yourself, then you shouldn't even do it. But let's keep it going. On Instagram, on TikTok. Now, here's what I want you all to understand. Currently, if you have a job, you are being paid by your job for what you know how to do. Your job is that middleman between you and the customer, right? So you give your time to your job, your job pays you, your job essentially gives your service to the customer, right? They need you. Now, imagine removing that middleman. You're able to just directly take what you know how to do that your job was paying you for, put your own price tag and give that service directly to a customer. So what you do at your job is already proof that there is a demand in the market for it because otherwise your job wouldn't hire you. So I want you to be confident enough and realize I can do what I am doing without the job directly to the person. And that's really what the essence of consulting is. It allows you to take your knowledge, add your own brand and spin to it and provide it directly directly to the people and the businesses that need it. So again, building a brand around this can take you very far. This can turn into coaching calls, this can turn into speaking, this can turn into courses and educational materials like eBooks, all around you taking what you already know how to do and creating a business around it. That's, that's definitely a fact, right? So uh, if you're not following Ellie Talks Money, again, for your convenience, it'll be linked down in the description below. One more thing I want to add is I'm biased, right? So let's put that out there because anybody that says that they don't have any biases is biased to telling you the truth because uh, they're lying. Um, I prefer B2B business. So instead of trying to have a million customers a year to make a million dollars a year, uh, I much rather work with businesses that will buy hundreds if not thousands of units from me at one price and then go resell that and they do the B2C part. Um, so yes, you can do all of those other things that she said you could do as well. I do those things as well, uh, but just wanted to be fully transparent with you. The reason why I do B2C sales, all right, is so I can have data to take to the B2B deals and say, listen, this is what I've been able to do B2C on my level. Here you go, multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar company, and I'm talking about money that they make quarterly, right? You make crazy amounts of money every single quarter, more than I make and most people make in a lifetime. 
if I could do it to this extreme with my resources on my level, then you could do it a hundred, a thousand plus times better with your resources on your level. Uh, but both ways work. Both ways work. Just wanted to put all the options out there on it and let you decide. So, if I can do it, you can do it. Now, let's get into number five, which is super easy to start, and that is to create and start a you know small rental business and so when i'm saying rental i mean number one you can put your extra bedroom on airbnb secondly you can also rent out extra space in your home like a garage even parking spaces so programs like just hero which i'm going to link down below are apps and websites where you can list your space up for rent for people that need to park in the area for people that need to store things long term but maybe don't want to or can't go the traditional route you can also rent your car out on churro there are tons of things you probably have right now at home that you can be renting out to people absolutely right uh there are apps out there for your boats for your rvs for your extra space like she said homes cars right uh you name it i'm going to end the video here if you guys want to know more information, which I hope you do, uh, from this uh, very smart entrepreneur, uh, be sure to follow her. Ellie Talks Money. I'm going to be intentionally be repetitive. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Share with anybody you think you can help. Also, go subscribe to her channel as well and let her know again, JT Central. Until next time, talking about this day hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.